Chicago's largest Day of the Dead shrine is dedicated to two local murder victims this year. Marlon Ochoa Lopez was killed in 2019. She then had her son cut from her womb. Even though there have been charges, the family says they have not gotten justice. And Jenna Barnes is live in Pilsen tonight with more for us now. Jenna. Ray and Micah, the family says they can't have peace without that justice. Their remembrance tonight taking place right underneath this mural of the mom and her infant killed more than two years ago. Advocates for the Lopez family say they built the largest Day of the Dead altar in Chicago in memory of Marlon Ochoa Lopez and her infant son, Yadio. The Mexican tradition honors the dead and celebrates their lives. Today we believe that spirits walk the earth and as they walk the earth we remember them and we leave them things that they loved because we miss and we love them. And on this Dia de los Muertos, Marlene Ochoa Lopez's father-in-law, her husband and her son are calling for justice. Justicia para Marlene. Chicago police say in 2019, Clarissa Figueroa and her daughter Desiree lured the pregnant mom to a home on 79th and Pulaski with the promise of free items for her new baby, then strangled Marlene and cut her baby from her womb. The infant died 53 days later in the hospital. The two women are charged with the murders, and Clarissa Figueroa's boyfriend is charged with concealing Marlene's murder. The family says the pandemic has delayed their trials and justice for Marlene and Yadiel. As Marlene and Yadiel walk the earth today, we will whisper in their ears that we continue to seek justice for them. And if there is no justice, there will be no peace. We promised them that. The family and their advocates are hoping those trials will take place sometime next year. We're live in Pilsen tonight. Jenna Barnes, WGN News. Thank you very much, Jenna.